Hi guys, this is me again, Dennis Hagaf, and really nice to see you again on my review on my channel. So, if you will like this video, please don't forget to push the like button and also subscribe to my channel to see more reviews soon. And we have more reviews soon, and today we have the Tesla 4 for review, and in the next few weeks, I will have the M104 and also Master Pro also coming uh, to me uh, for my review and uh, it will be I think in the next three four maybe weeks and the review also will be ready so stay subscribe it to my channel and see more reviews soon and today we have a Tesla 4 T4 Bigotti new product and thanks to the company Bigotti that they made and announced four wheels in this month M104 uh, Tesla 4, uh, Master Pro in the two versions of the batteries and also the Extreme Bull Commander Pro with a suspension 100 volt competitor to the new Sherman S. So yes, stay tuned and let's go. So today we have a Tesla 4 for a review T4 and as you can see it is very similar design to the Master Pro and if we will go back a little bit in the past we will see that the Bigotti was experimented uh, in the past one year with a design where it was going from the traditional plastic design wheels where we have uh, just plastic shells, inner shells and all this stuff like the batteries and so on controller are going inside all these plastic shells and we had covers and handles and so on so now we decide to go to another type of uh, assembling the wheel and design the wheel so it is like the modular design where you see the suspension like the separate part and all around the suspension you see the battery packs uh, are opening quietly uh, and you see the handle inside the suspension mechanisms here and you see the shock absorber, all these are opened, the lights and so on. So, as I said, the design of the wheel and coke as a conceptional we see, the Master, Master Pro, Tesla 4, even M104 have some, some uh, same, same design here, like the all line of a new Bigode product. So, like it or not, just 
to understand what this is the way and this is the vision for the Bigotti company as I, as I see now in the next, I think, few years and so on. So, yes, uh, Tesla 4 are really looks looks same like the Master Pro, but this is only only the look and of course the, this both wheel are not possible to compare because this is a 100 volt wheel and the 16 inch motor and 16 inch tire and uh, the travel of a suspension are really smaller here but they use same shock absorber like the master but overall travel and the comfort with the suspension when you ride it and performance of course are different different and you cannot compare with wheels and i just trying to answer your question so it, it possible to compare them not not possible to compare this is different products and the weight of its wheel from the box i was measured it so the weight is good because firstly it was announced uh, 32 kilos i think uh, by bigode but real measurement uh, 30 kilos and 7 uh, 75 grams okay so as traditionally let's go about and speak about the overall ergonomics and design features and and what i like here when i think that wheel and what we have a uh, difference between the master and what new one of the technology we have here so firstly you see what the these pedals, uh, foot plates are coming just standard like we saw in the RS uh, before pedals and Bigode don't put here the uh, spiked pedals uh, just for reason we need to lower the price of that product to, uh, to be in the difference in our price range between the Master and the T4. So yes, you can put here the custom pedals or just order Bigode pedals uh, from the factory or from your dealer and so on so but you just need to know that these pedals are not good from the box you can ride it but for the extreme riding it is not not possible to ride with them about the pads so pads uh, Good point here, what the pads finally, it is first pads from the box where I can grab that wheel here with this one uh, pads, grab and can jump with that wheel, but this is the good point, but the bad point, what the pads, uh, two types, uh, two, two side type, two sides <laughs> type are not holding from the, from the box and when you just remove this uh, protective you know film from the from the, this 3m scotch you know and you you see what even when you're trying to remove that, uh, that film to to put the pads you see what already half of uh, that uh, uh, half of that the tape um, but half of that tape already not holding on the pads uh, I tried you know to put them and you see photos videos I tried to put them and after uh, 40 kilos of riding oh, two pads just go out and I was returning at home so I was, was holding these pads in my hand also reported to the Bigode that this is not acceptable quality from the box and it mu mu must be changed immediately here because clients don't need to know you know to glue it or, or searching additional type of uh, you know two side type uh, to, to to solve that problem for from the box but this is not working from the box completely we we'll have that problem uh, just right right from the box so this is important but second one part is what when you're trying to break it is all okay with a design with uh, dimensions and so on but and the placement are in my opinion are good here but for accelerating in my opinion uh, this uh, parts power parts front part are too too far away from the, from your leg and if you want to ride aggressively you know uphill yes you can push that you just leaning to too far forward and you you push it but if you are just riding in the city dynamically usually you cannot you know you cannot push that pass in in the front because they are far away from the legs and in my opinion need be a little bit closer to the legs but this is not critical problem but i am as i said i just analyze that and i see what I, in my opinion should be done you know and should be more correctly done here uh, second one part is about the pedals overall and how you stay on that wheel so you can see 
here but the, uh, this will uh, the pedals and because of the pillars are far away one from the uh, another here and this is why in such a small dimensions of a wheel 16 inch wheel your placement of the legs i think this is the biggest i saw in the products like this uh, so far so idea is what wheel are small and uh, control of a small diameter of engine wheel tire wheel are you know when the when the legs are too far away the control of the wheel needs uh, to you to be done more uh, precisely because every small pushing on the wheel when the, the legs so far uh, it, it, the wheel immediately re immediately reacts to your movement if the pedals you know going a little bit closer so you need to push it more to to get the same results uh, and this is the difference i don't say that this is bad or not bad but it just feels like that and I, I, my wheel i am usually now riding is the v12 ht and the pedals are really closer one to, to either one to an hour and it is for me it is uh, just like I, I adapt to rides it is uh, have more sense here because you push it and you feel that 16 inch wheel are riding like you you need to ride here you know you're trying to push it a little bit like if you push with v12 and you see what the wheels are going you know much more you know on the sides so you need to adapt but just they take it in mind but this a little bit feels when you control it uh, feels a little bit different here compared to the on our wheels uh, in the market another one point is what the pillars are really this uh, this uh, dimension here uh, from the from the batteries till the pedal start are quite big here and so idea is when you want to jump with a wheel you take your legs you know half of your legs are not 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 on the pedal anymore but it is more on the pillar you know here you put the leg like that and when you take the wheel when you're riding usually you put your you place your your foot like that so ideas and, and what i want to say but here you have more room to play you can you can ride like like that putting the legs like that and if you're riding aggressively but if you are not riding riding aggressively you just put your uh, legs wider for the more more comfort here riding on the fast speed i had no problem the wheel uh, going quite stable here and i don't saw any problems you know before wobbling or something like that you know it is going quite stable and you feel that the wheel is till the speed 50 kilometers per hour uh, this is the maximum speed i was uh, riding with that wheel i will explain it a little bit uh, later i will explain it a little bit later so with, with a such speed i had no problems with a wobbling or miscontrol you know or something like abnormal you know behavior of a wheel all seems are quite good here built and uh, now i want, want to talk to you about the speed why i was riding only 50 kilometers per hour speed so it is what you just all uh, who owns the Tesla 4T4 need to know what from the box you cannot ride with that wheel until you will perform the software firmware sorry update here. Don't even try to ride with that wheel until you made the so a firmware upgrade I don't know why I was miss that maybe I was in the holidays and, you know just sitting on in the beach you know and drinking my cognac you know but I just don't remember what somewhere was clearly informed, you know, community like from the manufacturer with official announcement like, hey guys, you cannot ride the Tesla 4 from the box, please update it firstly. It is very uh, needed soft firmware update and the wheel are dangerous to ride and it's really dangerous to ride, to ride. you can see on the video. I tried to, to, to set my record on that wheel to uh, try to go fast, fast as fast as this, this wheel can go and on the speed uh, 50 kilometers per hour suddenly the trim the tremor starts you know and the wheel starts shaking uh, for, uh, forward and backward forward and backward forward and backward so 
it is really uh, thanks God you know I was not crushed I don't know why I just was lucky or just it I was quite experienced you know and I just perform all you know correctly to stop that uh, tremor and stop that wobble because when the tremor start on the 50 kilometers per hour and also the wobble starts you know on the video it is not looking so bad but really in in real life you know and by my feelings when you going accelerated and the wheel start shaking and the speed are 50 and rising so yeah it is it is really bad and we will contact contacted immediately with bigotti company and say hey come on guys what is happening we will are dangerous to ride so we said oh sorry we was informed you before somewhere somehow what the firmware update must be done from the box so yes guys firmware update must be done from the box and we will use the sales shop we will do that do that in our warehouse before sending the tesla 4 to you so no way we will send it with a original you know firmware with all these problems and all these tremors so yes this is very important part and want to so show after firmware update was done i was tested you know but i was really afraid what this will happens once more again so i was tested till 18 uh, 49 48 when i was tested till 50 but i still afraid to go faster than the 50 kilometers per hour just i don't want to you know to catch that tremor on the speed uh, more than the 55 so i think i will not be such lucky you know in the such speed so yes i will keep that speed testing for one hour testers i am old one you know tester and quite heavy i don't want to risk to risk here and i Maybe if I will ride more with that wheel, I will try to know to to to, to ride faster by one kilometer. So I will rise my speed, you know, till 51, 52, 53. Maybe we'll test it. But you know, also the battery dries quite fastly, and you cannot, you know, perform high speed accelerating on the battery when you have a half a battery here, and we have here only 100 volt and 1,800 watt hours. So it is not not big. It is good but not big for the heavy rider so yes still need some time here to test that but as i said on the speed till 50 seems we will are working now not tested it uh, fastly um, faster uh, regarding the power this wheel are providing to you and here uh, we have few competitors for old one Nikola with a 16 inch motor and the only one now in the market the real competitor is V12HT here. So about the difference in the riding. So uh, firstly uh, what I wanted to say is what this one motor it is not the Nikola motor anymore. It is different motor because this one not hollow motor we cannot call that hollow motor because it is have big big axle in, in, inside you know it is not a hole but but this big big axle with a four i think with a four holes for the screwing all this suspension system to that and we have big bearing and you see the dimension of a bearing uh, here so the big bearing we have and also, you can see this wheel are dirty because in the day when I was test ride it, it was quite rainy and wet weather. I was riding 54 kilometers and about 10, 6 by or 10 kilometers I was riding home on the wet surface, uh, light rain. An idea is what we, after that, uh, in the morning, after that ride, in the morning, the bearings out. Uh, the bearings get rusty and I have now a clear sound of the rusty bearings inside that. You hear that. Already died. So still can be used. I also reported to the Bigotti said, come on guys, few kilometers in the wet weather, you know, and that's it for the bearings. It is not normal. Need to be fixed somehow. Better bearings. No, 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 some type of... Uh, Covers uh, think what you need to think, but this is not acceptable for like that. I'm saying it honestly because I know who will buy it. We will figure. We will not. We, we will see that problems also soon. So yes, I am in for you, but this have some 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 issues already here from a few kilometers riding. Okay, let's uh, return to the comparing the motors and power. So. 
the Nikola, when the 100 volt, when the first saw that, so the idea is, was what the Nikola was not so fast from the zero, but was quite stable on the speed 40 till 60 kilometers per hour, and the maximum speed of the Nikola is about 64, 63 kilometers per hour. This one is not so fast, and the maximum speed of that wheel is about 57, I think. But this is more torque. This is more torque from the zero. So, and the, this is the big difference. And if we will compare it with a V12 HT here, so I think on the accelerating from the from the low speed, this one is more more powerful than the V12 HT. I feel that on the accelerating, but if, when you push it, it immediately start providing you power and you feel that power. But this power will go out, on, almost all go out on the speed about 40 kilometers, 45 of that wheel. When the V12 uh, going till 50 quite aggressively. So, and this, this, you know, all this stuff I was previously explaining in some of my reviews. So, this only depends, as, as I think, on the motor wiring here. So, like, you cannot, you know, do the best motor from the zero and the high speed. So, you just put that wiring on the motor and you have this uh, the torque moment, you know, pushing from the zero better or on the maximum speed better. So, idea is what this is torque, you know, and can perform, as I think, hard of road when you need to go, you know, upstairs, downstairs and hills and so on. So, yes, very funny and good wheel on accelerating and on the power, but on the high speed, yes, and I feel that, and uh, returning to that, what I, was, I said, but I don't want to go faster than 50, because we have here only 100 volt, I am heavy, 100, 1800 watt hours batteries, 4 parallels, not so big, and, and I feel that on the such speed motor are losing the power and don't want to provide that easy acceleration. acceleration. So I just don't want to risk, you know, with, with playing with that here. So this is the off-road wheel and city wheel, but not for the extreme riding on the, five, high, on the high speed. So if you will try to, you know, ride uh, fastly till the 60 with that wheel you will get crashed you will get your cut off and so on so this is very important part this is not high speed wheel and here in my opinion in motion v12 ht have better you know overall better performance because yes it is not so powerful it, it, this is just my opinion i am don't uh, riding, you know, on all these ramps and don't performing all these jumps. I'm not so, such a crazy off-roader, so where I need, you know, torque from zero maximum always. But overall, V12 are performing good on the accelerating from the zero and performing good on the speed. And I was riding the speed till 60 kilometers per hour. And in all that range, I feel no, no, some loose here, you know, on the power. So it is, in my opinion, it is better balanced like the motor on the needs you, I have, you know, to I and I, the needs I have to that wheel. So here it is more powerful from zero, but the speed till 50. Sometimes I need more than the 50 kilometers when I'm riding with my friends. So here some problems we have with the motor. But as I said, I just explaining you my feelings and my subjective uh, opinion, what I feel when I'm riding that wheel. So, so yes, more torque, uh, almost hollow with a big bearing motor performing better in the in the zero start accelerating. Another one point I wanted to, to speak about is about the difference I feel between the accelerating and braking and that difference how many of the power you need to provide to get the result you know. So idea is when the first uh, firmware from the box was installed the difference was very big between accelerating and braking. So uh, when you push it on accelerating it, it accelerates really fast and really easy from the zero it's very easy to accelerate but when you start to braking you're pushing it with a, with a power pads to the back and you feel that this will not don't want to brake so hard and and this this difference are really big after the firmware was done the difference uh, between accelerating and braking uh, become better here almost the same but still i feel the difference here but it accelerates better when we brake so I think some something about the recuperation here are done and so it is not recuperated so fastly, so aggressively. I don't know reasons guys, sorry, but 
I think this is the problem, so just recuperation are not so strong to that motor and this is the reason it is braking, the braking are not so good compared to the accelerating, so here you need to, to understand that moment. Uh, and compared to the V12 HT, here it's perfectly balanced, so when you accelerate it, when you brake it, same power you provide and same result you get on accelerating on braking, so yes, here here we have a better better result and also V12 HT has, has possibility to you know to activate split modes and you can you know a little bit uh, adjust you know accelerating and braking speed and so on here so okay let's re return to the master or to master sorry look at that <laughs> to the Tesla 4 T4 so we're using the same shock absorber uh, like uh, like on the master and same PCI need to be pumped. 250 was pumped to write with my weight 100 kilo kilograms I adjust the compression and the suspension are working as I said not so soft compared to the max uh, to the master not so big in the travel compared to the master but it's still working and it still helps regarding how it helps to you I have a questions and I was explaining that in the master when I was comparing in my review s22 King song also I was talking about what it is working uh, like the suspension, it is help you, but if we're talking about the right type of a working suspension, it is not working right and correct, and I feel that it is bouncing on the, on the big holes, you know, but when you ride on the fa fastly, you see what the suspension are working wherever it want to work and not like that, not predictable and so on, so here compared to the S22, it, I like it much more with uh, this uh, normal shock absorber, with uh, this spring, you know, when you can adjust that normally and you have a perfect result, how it should work, you know, so here, if you want to see about more about the suspension, how it works, so you can see it, my channel reviews S22 and Master Review, I was speaking more where about that suspension, so, about the lights, so you can see the uh, big lights in the front, like in the master, and if the beam now are correct, and you can also adjust this uh, light, you can adjust uh, the angle of the light a little bit, so it is also helps. That's really nice solution. On the top, here you have the handle, same like the master, it is the plastic made. Only one better point here, still plastic, I don't know why metal would be better here, but still using plastic. Another one point is what the T4 are lighter on 8 kilograms compared to the master and if we use the same handle I think, so just the you know, overall weight is smaller here, so it is last more longer in my opinion. The overall dimension of the handle with my, with my height is too small, the wheel smaller, the handle smaller, so overall I want it, you know, a little bit uh, higher the uh, trolley handle. Still acceptable to trolley, but not comfortable here. Uh, regarding the screen, uh, here in Tesla 4 we're using the same screen we was used in the previous generation RS. So only one different here is what RS was with a red screen, which was not acceptable to read, not readable at all. Here, finally, we changed the screen to a white color and put the tint, you know, glass on uh, on that, so it is more readable. When you're accelerating, you can read the digits, you can read the speed, but of course the odometer, the battery level and so on, not readable, still not readable, the screen still too small and not informati informative here, but speed, yes, all okay, you can see that with no problems. So backlights, regarding the backlights, here you can see the overall solution, we just put some type of that plastics, you know, here and you see all cables just going all around the wheel, you see here the screws and its solution is like that. So it is what, it is bright, yes, you can see it in the daylight when you're running, they are just uh, shining red, when you stop, start braking, they start flashing, you know, and you can clearly see when you're accelerating, just running, and when you're stopping, both are, you know, clearly flashing your red lights. That's, this is a good solution, but how we perform that, how, how we finish it, I don't know, it's, I don't, don't really like all this, you know, but this is not integrated solution and so on. 
Okay, regarding the cleanness of the wheel, and I was riding in the wet condition, so the wheel are not water, you know, flow resisted. I mean, what all the splashes go all around. This mud guard don't working at all. My all my uh, backside with my even my helmet was was in with a mud. I just was the mud was throwing, throwing everywhere here everywhere on my back on my helmet here from the front also it is open here open construction so all was going on my boots so i returned at home for all with mud from my head to to till my boots so running in the wet not not better choice not best choice for that wheel you know to, to choose such a wheel. Another one point what all these construction are opened and you see here the wires are going white wires <laughs> why not black you have a black wheel black design we painted uh, the, uh, the, the suspension system in the black so but we do not paint it the rim to the black we don't paint it this part of the black we don't paint it really handle in the black why we don't pay and we use the white white uh, wires uh, with uh, how we called whatever this white covers of uh, wires here and in the front as you see the motor wiring are just white color here and i have big question here to that type of a solution because this is the motor usual wires and this this one white type cover are not performing the normal uh, usage of a wheel because the suspension are traveling and this wire are going like that. So I understand what in the some moment of life of that wheel, these tires will find the place where we will go only in that place and one day you will get your cut here. So in the market we have solution of the special plastics here. You can use you know special plastic form. Uh, you just take it you know around all these wires. So they performing the task not to you know to to cut in one place, not to using one place for for that you know for that traveling. So it will be rounded you know all rounded like that. So it, this will be last uh, longer much less longer i don't know how 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 i don't know how fast this will go out but i see that this is not not good from the engineering point another another one point what you see here the batteries wires are going just directly to the controller so not no water resisting here at all have big question to the batteries these covers are really plastic tiny batteries inside and i see here we're using just screws you know to hold all this system for uh, plastics uh, here to you using the whole hold the battery packs so idea is what i don't know this is water resistant or not i think it is not water resistant so another one point is what i was removing the battery packs, packs because i needed to remove it with protection film but we, we, this wheel are coming from the box and uh, idea is what all these screws are not loctite so Another one message I wanted to deliver to you that you need to disassemble all this wheel and to lock tight all these screws with he see here all around. So you need to to close the holes for the wires and so on. So returning to the to the wheel, so we still producing that and in, in that way. So so many years now in the market, but still not locked it. Still you need to disassemble all wheel from the box and reassembling. Reassemble it once more again to lock tight all the screws because this is the technique, this is the transport, this is not the toy car, you know, with a remote control, it's broke and whatever. This is the this is the transport you are riding on and your overall your uh, health, you know, and your life are depends on the on, on, on that wheel, how it functional. So not using you know lock tight it is still the catastrophe i don't know what way of thinking producing so many wheels but still using the same same not completed technology to that so sorry guys okay the tire tire same tire we saw in the nicola plus so great tire don't have problem with that with that riding good on the asphalt riding good in the in the off-road so yes it is 
great choice i think from the from the box to have in the 16 inch wheel don't have problem with that very stable in the high speed no problem regarding the what is inside so inside is we have this type of uh, suspension you know this how to say here bouncing mechanism so it is what we have here the uh, top position of the suspension when you push the suspension to the limit it is bounced and no metal to the metal so we use some type of rubber with inserts here you know to prevent that you know the, the, the destroying the wheel you know when, when you push it till the limits of the suspension so uh, as I understand, but if you will not, you know, check often the pressure of the shock absorber and the suspension will going, you know, down till the end. So this one will hold not so long and we, I think this is the reason you have the spare part set here in the box already. Also you have usual bigode uh, pump to pump the air to the shock absorber and you can use it also because you have here the switch one between the two types of uh, high pressure and normal usual pressure so you can use it also to pump the tire of the wheel great great feature here and finally this wall is this is 100 volt wheel and finally we place the 5 amps charger here 100 volt 5 amp Firstly, I think, firstly from the bigode, so many years we was asking to stop using 3 amps charger and finally we have here 5, five amps. Great here. But interesting story is that this one will have two charging ports, you know. And if you're using the 5 amps charger, you don't have the room to put additional maybe a uh, one amp charger you can you can use to have overall six amps you know per charge here to charge that wheel no way you can use two chargers and have a 10 amps on with such a small batteries it will not work so i think when the wheel was production in the production and design stage we were still thinking about three amps and after that we say okay we will finally add the good charger here five amps but you still have two charging ports so funny here but but i really glad bigode thank you very much for for adding this good charger to the wheel and i hope all future wheels will be also add with a normal five amps charger which will fastly charge your 100 volt wheel and you have a good one product from the box what else to say as i said overall performance are really great if you if you need some type of a budget budget to 2000 euros already but you know the, all this inflation and the course the euro to, to dollar are same now one by one so yes inflation are crazy this year in all world globally so these 2000 euros plus are not anymore 2000 euros what we had few years ago so if this one need to be understand also so yes 2400 500 euros for that wheel are now we we, we we say it is a budget wheel already so yes as for the budget wheels if you are looking for wheel 30 kilograms of weight from the box good performance 100 volt quite good big battery here with a working suspension not perfectly but working suspension Mm, comfortable wheel to ride almost everywhere you want to ride so why not bigode why not but t4 why not but uh, as i said from the box you need to disassemble it you need to to, to solve the wiring problem to isolation hydroisolation problem to need to think about somehow to you know to to close it just uh, to not to be you know all with a mat from the outside Need to think about that need to think how to glue your pads here and you're ready to go don't forget to update firmware so i think i think that's it that's it most important part i was said about that wheel so the next review will be m104 review soon in the next few weeks so stay stay on my channel in the three weeks four maybe maximum i will have master pro for review and maybe we will have also the 30 and the commander pro also this year review so stay tuned we have it in stock so if you need contact us and we will help 
you to get that will soon. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Denis Hagov. See you guys soon.